This week, we will be upfitting a Leisure Travel Van, or LTV, Unity, the twin bed model. We will be installing 800 watts of solar, 400 amps of lithium, 3000 watt Victron Multi Plus 12 volt inverter, and a 150-70 MPPT. There is also an Easy Start and a 712 battery monitor. While we were doing the installation, the customer asked us to also install the antenna for the Pepwave Max mobile cellular data hotspot and Wi-Fi system. We're sorry for the lack of up close and personal shots for this video. The LTV unities are very small, very tight, and we kept bumping the camera and knocking it off of its perch whenever we had the cameras inside the unit. But as with installing solar, you never know what you're going to come across when you have to deal with the elements. So most of this installation took place in our storage unit in Tennessee. Back to the weather that I was talking about. We had some very interesting weather during this installation. level over here is going that way and this is going this way. And the reason is going down and it's shooting straight up right there. Oh wow look look right here. This yep. is literally coming this way and that's going that way. Oh I feel like it's about to form like I'm I'm freaking yeah. As our avid followers know, Mike likes to give space or not take any space away from storage in an RV. As you can see, this is the before, so we only took out a tiny bit in this small unity. For access to this installation, once you open this cover, everything is right there in front of you. The four batteries, the multi-plus, the uh, added LED lighting, just to be kind of the finishing touch. We also put a cover over top of the batteries to protect from shorting things out. On the inside of the RV, everything was clean as usual for our typical installs. 
to get the 712 in place, we were originally going to put it above the door, but we had to remove the fridge and the microwave, uh, which since it's Bluetooth, it's not necessary to always have it up where the rest of the components are. This is showing the installation of the PepWave Max antenna. Uh, it ended up in his audio closet. They actually also installed a WeBoost, and so this is where it is housed wiring-wise behind the te television in the kitchen. And then the antenna is actually mounted on the ladder of the back of the RV. Just like with everything else, Mike is very particular about things which he normally runs all electrical wiring through the coach or in on the inside of the coach. However, in this case, it would have been in the living space. So they ran the electrical, the solar, and the DC tie-in to the original battery bank all through conduit. On the undercarriage of the coach, they secured it appropriately, foamed, and sealed each end. Here's the final drone footage. Super short, but we had to land the drone quickly because it began to rain. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and click that dingy bell ringy thingy.